Yo. I'm on my way. Well, I am literally fucking driving and shit. First thing was, I got a text like 7 in the morning to talk about your yeah, boy did. I'm making somebody plan and shit. I ignored that shit. I get on the motherfucking gram. And my whole hood basically is in mourning. They, they fucking killed my fucking right. Like, that was my nigga, like. And, and another way that nobody don't even know. Like, that's my nigga, nigga, nigga like that. Like, on business tip, telling me how to move in these streets. Teaching me some shit. That's my nigga. I knew that nigga since I moved from Philly at fucking nine years old to fucking New Jersey. Like, are you seriously for real? Are you serious? Are you serious? He is no longer the fuck here. I call this phone. He don't even answer. Like, oh my God. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's crazy. It's so much going on. I had to fucking park up. Yo, I couldn't. I can't even get on the highway right now. This is called for fucking silence. This is called for fucking a drink. Bottom fucking line. Like, I'm fucked up. And I ain't even fuck with nobody candy like that, literally. But like him, on another type of level. There ain't no sex level ever, ever been. I'm not one of them. That nigga was the realest to me, yo. He used to tell me, Robin, fuck what them haters say. Live your life. Enjoy this shit. We only got one life. To, we only got one life. Robin, look, live your life. Fuck them haters. Enjoy your life. He's like, I don't give a fuck with nobody who say about me. I'm going to keep doing my thing. Live your life. You won't make it through everything you've been through. Just live your life. Stay forward. Fuck what the haters say. Put them in the past and keep your foot forward. Ain't nothing out of the hood for you. You might as well just chill. You did your thing. Your daughter needs you. Chill with your daughter. Do your real estate. I just talked to this nigga. Yo, that broke my whole fucking heart. Bottom fucking line. Hi, it's my time to shine. Like, I'm just clearing up my energy, and I'm just like literally like thanking God for giving me my life, for keeping me here, even though we all got to go. It, we all got to go. It's, it's, it's a matter of a time. Nobody lives forever. Only in heaven you live forever in hell. And that kind of forever I wouldn't want to live. But what I want to do say is like, I done lost somebody today that meant a whole hell of a hell of a lot to me than like some of my own fucking family members. Not my immediate, but you feel what I'm saying? That person was more to me than motherfucking blood. I keep that shit a hundred. Like, even though people was hating, saying what they was saying about my, my nigga, all types of shit. I ain't give a fuck really about none of that shit, yo. I never let that come between what bond we had, non-sexual bond. Like, a lot of people fuck with him because they was, like, literally fucking this nigga knowing he had somebody. But, like, at the end of the day, I wasn't one of them. And, like, no matter where I was, every state, anywhere I go, that nigga always come to my house and, like, show me respect. And we always, like, kick it on real shit. 
like real shit not no little gossip shit some real shit and like he used to like be saying like yo live your life we might not be promised tomorrow he was like i could go today or tonight he's like, i don't give a fuck he was like you know because his brother i think it was brother or cousin i keep getting confused got killed as well and in, in the violence gun violence and it's just some shit that i ain't gonna say on here but at the end of the day, I know a whole lot of shit. And it's just like, yo, yo, it's crazy because all the, like, all, he's a Libra. His reads been coming up crazy. Like, he used to call me, um, Miss Cleo and shit. Like, I'm laughing and shit, but he used to call me Miss Cleo. Like, that nigga funny as hell. Like, you Miss Cleo around this bitch. He's like, your reads crazy, but they be on the dime. That's what he used to say. And, like, that nigga is about the same age as me, maybe a year or two older, because I just turned 43. He just turned his age in October. And what fucked me up is, like, I just see this nigga, like, this motherfucker literally was just, like, at my crib. Like, he needed to fall back, and he needed to, like, get something together and shit. And, like, we was kicking it and shit. And I was, he was like, damn, like, yo, he's like, he's like, you did good as shit, like, you literally got off that bullshit ass game. He's like, really fully like, he's like, yeah, you know what I mean? You fuck with me, but he's like, you fully did the up, right, up about turn. You dipped off and took all the money you had and turned your shit into something else. He was like, niggas don't even do that. He's like, yo, I like the block. I ain't going to lie. I'm work a little bit, but he's like, this is just what I am. I'm going to always be the block. He said, I can't front. This is me. All day, every day. I it's me. I nobody could change me. Nobody. And he always his he always I used to call him like, yo, it's time for you to get married, yo. Man, I'm about to. I ain't ready yet. I'm almost about I'm about to. I'm like, you stop playing the fucking field, my nigga. Like, it, it's crazy that like he out of here, like, through gun violence. I'm finding out 7 in the morning and shit, thinking somebody was playing at first when they text me because people play too much. Your boy, your boy not here, your boy dead or something. And I, I'm like, man, what boy? Because, like, you know, somebody tell you somebody dead, somebody killed. They ain't saying no name. And you got sons and cousins and shit. Your mind, like, who? Say the fucking name. What's wrong with you? Like, so I called a motherfucker right on FaceTime. Like, FaceTime's a motherfucker. What what you talking about? They told me straight and I ain't want to text it. I don't want my number or nothing. I was just like, yo, you lying. So I had to do research. That shit came out to be 100% real. It got killed at an area he don't even really fuck with like that. That's what got me. Like, he don't fuck with that area. He know, like, he really don't be fucking with that area all the way like that. Like, just he don't. Like, I don't get it. But as I look at life, it's like, Yo, you don't know. Then my other people's that, like, was my nigga as well. I just, like, I didn't see him, though, since, like, October. Because he made me mad and shit. I go on the Rest in Peace page. That nigga up there. Like, five niggas up there. Like, I'm fucking done. Like, I'm I'm sick as hell, like, right now. Like, what? A, what? This is my other right. Like, my, my two rights is not here no more. And I'm like, what the fuck? People are like, how you ain't up? Because I, like, yo, when you get out of a certain limelight in your life and you turn to your your life and body to a different situation, I don't look back. I, because why keep in contact with so much negative unless, like, they want to keep in contact? Like, some people, y'all cool as shit, but y'all fall off. You may not see that person for a year or two. That's just life. Everybody got their own life. But to hear my nigga had a heart attack, I don't, he was spiritual. He was getting his weight together. Like, he wasn't a big nigga. He used to box, but he got extra weight on him. And I know he was in the hospital a little bit. I remember that. We went out to eat and shit, like. And he was loyal. And a girl I knew, I'm like, what the fuck? She, what, what? These motherfuckers is my age, and they, and they, and 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 and, and, and they leaving. They're not here no more. It's like a lot of motherfuckers here walking around. Like I don't even want to put nothing bad out there, but people walking around that don't even deserve to be here. But who am I to fucking judge? I'm not. I'm not the divine. 
But I, I, I just look like how this motherfucker here and this motherfucker ain't how I'm looking at it. But I see basically that it's, it's, it's things happen because it just was, it was, it was time to go. It was time to go. I'm fucked up. I thank the divine for having me here and changing my life and cutting off the people that's not serving me no more. Because, like, for, for somebody to be somewhere where they know that they just know certain things and you know certain things is just not sitting well with me. But people shiesty. People set you up. That's why you can't fuck with people. That's why I say to myself, I don't want no new friends. I don't even want the old ones like that. Like, hi and bye. You know what I mean? You talk on, 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 on a gram or whatever we do. But motherfuckers don't fuck with you like that. Like, they act like they fuck with you, but they really don't be fucking with you like that. And it's... And and, and and it'd be a lot of hate and animosity. And it's like you 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 gotta you you can't trust nobody no more. You could go out with somebody, you think you cool, the next thing you know, you being run down on and they act like they don't know what happened and da 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 and these motherfuckers be having a part in some shit. Motherfuckers is snakes, yo. They bottom line snakes, yo. I ain't gonna sit here and say he was a complete fucker angel. Fuck no. Because I be fucking lying. I ain't going to sit here and say he never did nothing wrong. Because I be fucking lying. But I will say. On my fucking note. On what I dealt with. That nigga was a whole ace. When you got these niggas walking around here. Acting like they not this. They not that. They cops. They talking. They doing this. Everybody has so much to say. But all these motherfuckers is talking. They fucking cops themselves. Like. Uh, it's public fucking notice. You only you get. It's a site you go on, you, you'll see some shit about these motherfuckers walking around every day, especially in Camden, New Jersey. Like, motherfuckers walk around with the act like a head high, knowing that y'all motherfuckers, y'all ain't right with y'all selves either. Like, a lot of people say they out of the game, but they still in it a little bit. I know what the fuck's going on. I just stay in my lane. You got bitches that be hating that these niggas with and all that. Like... It ain't nothing but a bunch of fucking frauds, yo, in the hood and around the world, yo. I like staying to myself, yo. Like, literally, that's why I stay to myself. Like, I, 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 I just, I just thank the divine for opening my eyes, and I, I just tell the divine, I, I thank you for my life every fucking day. Like, he had kids, he had a family. All that is going in that fucking, like, that fucking fast. Like, it's just going. It's like nothing you could do to bring this shit back. It's like, once you going, you going. It's like, we really don't know where we go when we die. Like, people are like, oh, they went here. You don't know that. You don't know where nobody go. We, nor do we go anywhere. Like, you really don't know where motherfuckers go. Like, I was fucked up all day. I'm fucked up. Like... My mom, like, I'm fucked up. Like, I just wanted to come home. Like, I was going to go meet a couple people. But then, like, my other people, like, hit me up. Like, man, don't be meeting no motherfucker. But I fuck them all. The person you was fucking with like that, like, like that, like that is deceased. Like, he just got killed. The fuck you want to be around the motherfuckers for? You don't want to be around none of them. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to be around none of them. They right. At the end of the day, what the fuck I want to be around motherfuckers for? Motherfuckers, half of them didn't like them, but they they, they, they wouldn't dare step to them, though. Like, that's how it is. They they was petrified, but behind his back is something else. And it's, it's, it's just a lot going on and that's with all aspects of of the game like i just asked i just think divine that he took me out of that life real fast and and i stayed away from that life like i, I took what i needed to do and i turned my shit around and something else and i just kept pushing i just wouldn't go back yeah hey we all dipping dad but that ain't my life it could never be my life and just like he used to me, you ain't one I could talk to. I ain't got to run nothing going back. He's like, I can't have a decent conversation with bitches nowadays. He's like, next thing you know, the whole the whole hood knows. He's like, man. He was like, he was like, this is just my life. 
And I used I asked him, I was like, you 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 ever think somebody go I want to try to take you out? Like I used to be asking because I was like, you know, everybody people be hey, like I don't even give a fuck. He's like, listen, hey man, I'm living my life. He's like, they catch me slipping, they catch me slipping. But you know how I am. I'm usually I, I, I you really don't catch me slipping, and you don't. He put me on something one day. We in the car together. I was slipping. I don't, I don't get it though. But like, at the end of the day. What goes around comes around. I just, I ask God to put prayer over his family, especially his immediate family. I'm talking about like his kids and his real wife, wife, not the, not these bum ass bitches. Like, excuse my language, like not these bitches that knew he was with somebody and just was clucking. I'm talking about his wife. Like the rest of them bitches is just bum ass whores. They always will be. And that's why they all got did dirty by who they was fucking with. Because that's they just the whores. They will always be bottom line. But at the end of the day, his day one, we all know who the day one is. Like, she probably felt this shit coming. I pray for her. What's your the best? Grief is something that don't go away real fast. I just know, like, I just did a reading last night, and my reading was talking about somebody was on some shit with me. And, like, what I, what I like to say to people, like, motherfuckers don't forget shit. Motherfuckers hold grudges and they wait till that day till they see you slipping. And once they see you slipping and they they think the seven of swords type energy, they getting away with something and they literally want to take you out of here, they are. That's why you got to work, really be cautious about who you be around. Even bitches. You got to watch bitches too. They'll set you up. They'll set you up real fast. Like at the end of the day, like somebody got away with that shit. And with the Seven of Swords, nobody ain't see him, most likely. And when it's Seven of Swords, it's it's probably it's probably somebody that that know the person. You gotta be careful out here. That's why I be looking like people be just thinking they ain't got no enemies and they just living the limelight like. like they, they little baby and, and, and young Jeezy all day. Those motherfuckers got cups, Bobby bodyguards. These motherfuckers run around here with no bodyguards and do too much. I just stay in my lane. And I always pray over my son. Because that's the only way that some, I'm going to do some time. Because somebody do something to him, I'm taking you out. And I'm taking your family out with, with you. I ain't just getting you. I'm going to kill your whole family. Age don't matter. That's how I'm coming for mine. I don't know about nobody else. People say this and that, but no, you got to go. And you're going fast. It ain't no waiting. I'm going to go do that time. It's going to kill me, but you out of here. Your whole family, y'all going up. That's how it's rolling with mine. I ain't with the just saying something and then five years later, you still walking around. No, you got to go. That's how I'm rolling with, with mine. That's why I just be like, be just praying a lot. You got to go. We not sitting around. We not giving you no time to marinate. You might go up in flames, but you got to go. I ain't got no remorse for nobody to touch mine. I ain't gonna think about that. I don't give a fuck. I'm telling people now, cause at the end of the day, it's some snake shit going on with that. I feel it. I know it. There's always a snake around. They they linger. They be in the grass. They be haters. They miserable. They ain't got no life. They ain't only making a couple of dollars. They, ain't, they, they, they hating. Or it don't always have to be hate. It could be that you was in beef with this person. And this person just decide this the time to get you as well. But like, damn, this motherfucker don't be slipping. I don't get it. I'm hurt by it. I'm dealing with my mom. Two deaths I found out about. I didn't even know. I didn't even know my other nigga. One rat. My other nigga blocked. I didn't even know he was going. Like, what the fuck's going on around this motherfucker? Where was I at? 
focusing on my life and, and focusing on my life, getting ready for my granddaughter to come. Focus on bettering myself, trying to do everything I got to do to stay out the limelight. I don't want that life no more. I had a ball in it. And I really, you know, made, made money in it. I didn't, uh-uh-uh. Old money, new money woman here. That's why I laugh, because people really don't know me. But my, my life now is the divine for, and for the humanity purpose and make sure my mom good, make sure my family good because you never know when you're when you going to go. You don't know when you're going to go. You don't know when you're going to go. All you could do is pray. Live right. Get out the street life. The streets don't love nobody. Even if you think you love, you ain't love. The streets don't love nobody. I learned that. Even where I'm at, like, ain't nobody love nobody. Motherfuckers faker than a $2 fucking bill. Ain't nobody love nobody. Love don't live nowhere with nobody no more. They don't give a fuck about you. They only give a fuck about what you have or trying to be in your business. Motherfuckers don't give, about, give a fuck no more. I'm going to always stay low. This hurt me. And it opened my eyes at the same time. This was a big hit to my heart. And I can't have this much stress on me like this. I got to breathe in and out and figure out something. Because I can't. It's, it's a lot of stress right now. That one took me to fuck under. Just like my goddaughter. It did. He meant much to me as my goddaughter that died or got sick, they claim, but I know it was more to it with that shady husband of hers. Like, like the shit hit me like a ton of fucking bricks. Me and death, we don't get along. Like, nobody get along with death, but me and death, we really don't get along. We like hot grease. And water. We don't get along. And I always end up sick when somebody really means something to me. Get get out of here. So, I'm going to ask the divine and ask my angel, Archangel Michael, and all the positive angels I need around me to protect me. Protect my heart, definitely, with the stress. Because, like, I couldn't even shed a tear because I'm still in fucking shock. Like, I had to call this motherfucker because he never not answered my fucking call. The motherfucker didn't answer. I knew it was it. I already knew. Like, fuck what everybody else was telling me. I'm like, let me call. And then let me call the other rights that I know. Like, he wasn't even fucking with a lot of care. He, he had boys over here where I live at. Like, it's crazy. Like, Camden is just nothing. It's just, it's just trash. It's nothing but mostly trash there. You get too much. Somebody hate. They want to take you out. It's different. I just want to say rest in peace, Jamel Kwan. I will always love you. You will always be in my prayers. I will always think about you. I'm going to always look and read your text messages. I'm going to laugh, sit back. That's what I'm doing now. We your Facebook little messages. He was a flirt, yeah, but he know he wasn't getting this because he messed with somebody that was too close to me. And they both thought it was a secret, and I ain't know. I'm smart as shit. You're yeah, not. Nah, messed up. But I knew him since I was a, a fucking kid still. I was jumping double dutch. It hurt. It hurt like hell. It hurt like hell. Like, it, 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 it. In my stomach, my chakra area is fucked up right now. That area needs to be healed for a while. Damn, my nigga. 
Rest in peace.